Okay, now, one of the most important things when ironing your jacket is you don't want to get it stained with the dirty iron. So, the way that I clean an iron is I take a towel and I saturate it with water. And then I take it and just put the iron on, roll it on the sides because that's where you get a lot of starch buildup. Get all the schmutz off. You don't want any nasty schmutz on there. So, and I, I like to use a white one because then I can have the satisfaction of knowing I got all the schmutz off. There's nothing worse than schmutz on your on your iron. Okay, so once we get that off, then we can begin. So what I do is I iron my jacket on the round end of the ironing board, and I start on the right hand side, and then I roll around. So I'll start here, and then I'll go around this way, all the way over to this way, and then I'll do the neck, I'll do the T in the back, and then I'll do the sleeves. So I'm not going to bore you with the whole ironing process. I'm going to pause it at certain sections, but I'll show you the, the front panel, one front panel, um, I'll show you the back panel, and I'll show you the T and the collar. Okay, so I missed it with a little water, and then I come in, and because they are very bright white, you really got to pay attention to all the details so that you don't get any creases in there. So, and any joint or any connection where there's material connecting, you really want to make sure that you're getting a good iron or a good crease. Okay. In between the buttons, if you pull it a little bit, it helps give you a little edge so that you can get in between the buttons a little easier. And then follow down the side. Groovy. Okay, and then you'll get a little steam like that, just go over it. Cool. Now, to work these odd parts, change your corner so that you can get that collar in there. And then come in and make sure that you can get that edge really nicely. Come in along the sleeve, get all that stuff in there nice and done. In there, nice, very nice, very nice. Super duper. All right, cool. And then what I do is I just work around this corner and work my way around. So I start on one side and go all the way around. And mist as I go. It sounds like whistling while you work. Or misting while you work, whatever. <clears throat> or you can whistle. I usually watch TV and iron. All right, so that's good. So rather than bore you with the whole ironing process, I'm gonna pause a little bit and then I'll come back. Okay. Cool, so on the back, Missed. Start at the bottom edge and work your way up. You see me grab my cord because I always lift the jacket up and it becomes a wrinkling nightmare. Um, you get relatively proficient in ironing after you do it for a while. You get to where you can do it in a quick pinch. Alright, so work that corner. Oh, it sounds bad, but anyway, you gotta work that corner. Mist. Work into the edge. Cool. Very nice. Uh, generally recommend turning on a ceiling fan or something because it, it's relatively hot and steamy uh, and not in a good sense. So you wanna. Turn on the fan to reduce the uncomfortable hot and steamy. See, I did it. Looking with the cord. Got me. Okay, so you saw that corner. So when I switch to the other panel, I'll work you through that. Problem. So work the corner on the opposite shoulder. A little mist. Do the corner action. Another good thing to do if you're ironing is to place your cordless phone far away from your iron. Um, if you're watching TV or maybe you're drinking an adult beverage or something at the time, which might distract you, 
um, if you go to answer the iron and it happens to be the phone or the phone happens to be the iron, <coughs> it's not good. Uh, I also recommend keeping a shirt on while you iron because as you iron close to your belly you can see the steam does come out relatively swiftly which can result in some uh, unsightly scarring. So, now that we've gotten that out of the way, not that I've ever done that, either of those, but just wanted to share what I've heard from uh, fellow ironers. <clears throat> sure. So, keep on ironing. Keep on ironing. Work that corner. So pull the edge out. Okay. Come in between the buttons. Work up that shoulder nicely. Sounds like an extra video, exercise video. Work up that shoulder. Okay. Make sure you get the bottom. And we're going to do the collar. So you're going to flip it over. Place the collar right on the edge of the board there. Start at one side. And then pull the opposite side as you iron into it. Really? Collar's done. Then we're going to do the T in the back. What you're going to do the T in the back on is you're going to follow the line in the sleeve right here. Alright, so grab that line on one side and then grab the same line on the other side. Okay, and then you're going to pull that so that it forms a crease. You're going to pull the crease, put that on your ironing board, give it one little press. And then give it a squirt, and then give it an iron. And then to get a nice discernible T, just let it just keep moving it. Don't let it sit still because that will not be good. Alright, and this is where all that starch and all that work of washing and everything comes out and this is one of those marks that gives you a nice truly distinguished look in your jacket so when you're done it should give you a nice crispy tee in the back Okay, very nice then we move on to the sleeve so you're going to take the sleeve and follow the natural crease line at the top of the sleeve fold that onto your ironing board Make sure you get your whole sleeve on there. Pull that out. Okay, try and get it as wrinkle free as possible. It'll we'll just work. Alright, hold the edge. And then just press in a nice crisp line down the center of that sleeve. Now, generally you're going to roll your sleeve up. I roll mine up four rolls, so that's up to here, but I press it so that when I fold it, it folds nicely, and that's just <clears throat> maybe a little OCD, but um, it's good. Um, the other benefit of the starch is the starch acts as kind of a scotch guard or a, a protective coating, a force field, if you will, against stains and nasty detritus that's always trying to jump on white. Right. The second side you, you might not need a squirt on, but you but you might. But as, as you can see here, I'm not getting that good ironing that I want, so I always give it a little extra iron. Now, the setting I have on my iron is I have it on heavy steam. I can also do a squirt, but I want to do a heavy steam, and you can see it's coming out pretty good. All right, so that's how I do the sleeves. Not going to bore you with the other sleeve. Repeat the process on the other sleeve. Get the idea? Good. Okay, so now you've gotten the second sleeve done. You're going to go and put it on a hanger and invest in a good hanger. Don't use a wire hanger uh, unless you use two or three wire hangers. If you're not worried about keeping it or you're going to recycle it, because I know you're going to recycle everything, well, let's say hypothetically you're going to recycle them. Uh, I take a really sturdy wire hanger. I think this one's pretty good. So a nice sturdy wire hanger that doesn't bend on you. Put that through. Button the inside button. 
make sure that it's been in only your lips and not your friends, right? So then you're gonna button both buttons like this. So that it maintains all that work. That sounded pretty good with the hanger in there, right? Now you put it on there and you're like, oh my god. OCD is set in and it's wrinkled and it's driving you nuts. Okay, so remember the steam feature I was telling you about? So hit it with the steamer. Wrinkles be gone. It's like magic. I know. Harry Potter. He's got nothing on this. Okay, so get all the wrinkles out. And then once you are obsessively, compulsively, pleasurably satisfied with your ironing, then you're going to just hang it up and be ready to take it on the road. So there you have your nice iron jacket. Nice work. Alright, now after you get everything ironed, an important thing to recycle, dry cleaner bag. So, you save those, you take your jackets, multiples if you have them, feed them through the dry cleaning jacket. Now, if you don't have a dry cleaning jacket, you can use a trash bag. Um, I always do put a bag on them. I'm prone for spilling things on myself, so I don't put my jacket on to the last minute. If you ever come into the office early, you'll see me sitting in a t-shirt because I spill. So, once you get them in the bag, then they're safe. Um, it's like a condom for your jackets. Alright, safe travels.